In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually play on the latest snapshots for 1.18. Now this will work for all future snapshots and you can actually see past snapshots as well. But uh, let's get into it. Now starting off, what you're going to want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher. Once you're there, click on installations. Then make sure snapshots has a green check mark next to it. Now you can obviously uncheck it, but then it will not be there, so make sure it is checked like so. Now this will show the latest snapshot. If you want to go to past snapshots, what you're going to want to do is click on new installation and keep on searching through past snapshots. As you can see, there are a lot of them. But obviously, those are past snapshots and you most likely want to play on the latest one, which will always be here, since you cannot delete this. So you can just simply press play here or go back to play and it should show up here or you can pick through the list of things. But once you have it just like that, you just want to press play and it will start downloading the snapshots. Then once you're actually in game, what you're going to want to do is click on single player and create a new world. Since old worlds will either be incompatible or they may break unless you back them up. So as you can see, I just want to make it creative and I want to cheat on just to see all the new stuff. Now obviously, if you just want to play in survival, then do that as well. But if you want to explore all the new stuff, I would recommend you do a creative with cheats on. Once this loads in, just like so, as you can see, we are in a world. And you can see all the new generation as well. It seems pretty cool. As you can see, all the new caves are here just for 1.18. And it's way simpler than the experimental versions of 1.18. And it obviously adds more stuff and is more refined if you do the latest snapshot. Which makes this even cooler. But uh, let's go on to the Bedrock Edition of this. And for Bedrock Edition, all you're going to want to do is press on play. And then once you're here, you're going to want to press create a new world. Then just simply create one, just like so. And then scroll all the way down to settings and turn on experimental caves and cliff. Now it'll show up with this warning, but it is fine since it just is telling you that it is experimental and things will change or break. But then go back up and put it on creative if you want to explore all the new stuff. But obviously it's kind of harder to see when in bedrock rather than java since you don't have spectator mode. But once we load in, just like so, you can actually kind of tell that it is 1.18. As you can see, there are a lot more mountains and a lot more variable things. Now this is really cool. And you can obviously see some of the new generation and the new caves. But that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Out.